Hey everybody, thank you for joining me. I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools Community Support, where we help people online who are having difficulties or running into hurdles with what they're trying to do to optimize their every day. Now, before we dive into today's topic, make sure to check out our YouTube channel. We got lots of videos up there that go through all different types of applications from Google Sheets to Retool, Google Data Studios, Apps, Scripts, Airtable, as well as many others. If you don't see what you're looking for, feel free to shoot an email over to feedback at bootstrapping.tools. We'll be happy to take a look at that application and possibly make a video just for you. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be helping out this person who just posted into the R Sheets Reddit form. And what they're essentially trying to do is just get their money back. I mean, poor guy, you know, shell out a lot of money for whatever this trailer thing is and they just want to split the cost 50-50 and he wants to know how he can itemize everything and then display how much he needs to get paid back from his friend. I'm actually not sure if this is a Stuart or Chris, whatever the case, let's go ahead and help them out, make sure that they are getting the right calculations done and know how to allocate all the costs. All right, so over here we have our example spreadsheet. Uh, based on the poster screenshot, I filled in some of the information here about the trailer gator, the overrun damper, as well as the data or the cost for each item. And then I also noticed that Stewart had five rows, whereas Chris had only three rows. Um, so I put that in as well. But before we dive into the actual formula uh, that we're going to use to figure out how much Stewart is owed and how much Chris needs to pay out uh, back to Stewart, if you know there is an amount there, we're actually just going to dump in random data in here. Um, but whatever the case, we're going to figure out how much uh, should be the 50-50 cost uh, between the two of these folks and make sure that they're uh, pulling their weight. So I don't really know what goes into a trailer, uh, to be honest, but I would imagine wheels do. And wheels are about $200 a piece on average, and you need four of them. So let's say $800 goes in here. Uh, you know, trailers are, from what I know, usually attached to something, so they probably don't have brakes on them. So let's say you probably have to install some brakes onto it. And brakes, I think I would say a brake kit might be about 200 and something. Let's say 205 for that. And then perhaps uh, you need to a tow coupling because you're not a two coupling, a tow coupling. Um, since it is a trailer and you're probably towing that stuff around, uh, I think let's say what 150 sounds about uh, fair for that amount. I don't really know. I'm not. I'm not an expert in this. Um, but let's say you know maybe maybe you also need to add in I don't know square axle. That's something that I've heard people talk about before. Uh, that's that could possibly be about. 180 let's say why not and then let's say you wanted to uh get in a rim or something like that rims why not wheels need rims um so let's say that's 170 and then i don't know maybe you wanted to make it look fancy you got some led lights and then 20 dollars a piece you want the two of them let's say 40. doesn't matter this is a demo so the important part though is what we're gonna do between uh, columns E through G here, we're going to first create uh, a column for the payers of it. And how we're gonna get that is we're gonna do a formula called unique, and then we're gonna do C2 to C. What that's gonna do, C2 to C. What that's gonna do is it's going to grab all the unique values in column C minus the header row. So just in case, you know, some random person comes through and they say, you know what, don't let's not split it 50 50. Let's put it one third each. Um, you can just add them right to the spreadsheet. And it's going to automatically calculate for you. they will just add them right there. So let me just demo that. If you put a Larry in here, now Larry's is going to automatically appear on the E column. Let's remove that Larry because we don't know who he is. Uh, get out of here, Larry. You're not paying for anything. Let's say the amount paid for each person. Now we're going to do this row per row. This is where we're going to use the sum if formula. All right. So there are two sum if formulas. There's a sum if for a single criteria, and then there's a sum ifs with an S, which would allow you to add multiple criteria. Um, this isn't going to be super complicated, so we don't need the sum ifs one with the multiple criteria. We're just going to use the regular singular sum if. And what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to add in the range and the criteria. So there are three parameters essentially that we need to inject into this formula. First one is the range. And the second one is the criteria for that range. So the first two are kind of paired together. They work in unison. Uh, so you have to apply the range and then what that criteria is to filter it down. And your last and final parameter here, the sum range, is going to be uh, just the range that you want to sum up. 
So for us, what we're going to do is we're going to do C2 to C, all right? And that has to equal to E2 because that's the row of our little table here. So that's Stuart. And when we copy that down, it's going to be Chris. And then the column that we want to sum up is going to be B2 to B. You can do B to B if you want instead of B2 to B. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's really up to you. I do it to B2 to B just uh, because there's a header row and I want to avoid it. Uh, sometimes just you know up to you it doesn't matter once you do that looks like Stuart is paying about 1239 and then when we copy this down it's going to set it equal to chris and we actually if you notice here our formulas drop down a little bit too much so let's go back up here and what we're going to do is we're going to set these values to absolutes so dollar sign in front of the c and the two and then also dollar sign in front of the b and the two for that we're going to add a dollar sign to the E just in case we need to copy this over to the right or left. It's not going to move away from column E, which is the name of the person. So let's copy this down. Actually, it turns out it's still about um, 39.95, uh, 39, 395. Jeez, math, uh, words, numbers. But 395 because Chris wasn't even a part of the first one, so that doesn't change anything. So now that we have our amounts now, now it's time to calculate how much someone is owed. So amount owed. And what we're going to do here is we're going to grab the total from column B and then we're going to divide it by two or, you know, essentially Stuart and Chris, since they want to uh, share the cost 50, 50. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and just do the sum first uh, statement here. So that's going to be B2 to B and let's not make the same mistake as before. Let's uh, set these absolute values here. So the total cost of everything so far is 1634, which checks out uh, if you, you know, combine these two items. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this in parentheses and divide it by two. And this is the amount that Stewart should be paying. So from there, what we're going to do is we're going to get Stewart's paid amount and then we're going to subtract it, subtract the total value from it. And we get two, 422 and we copy this down. It's going to be negative 422, AKA the amount that Chris needs to be paying out. So then he is uh, owed negative amount. And I just see here, I have a typo, amount owed. Uh, Chris owes 422, where Stuart is owed 422. So Chris needs to pay Stuart $422 and 37 cents in this hypothetical scenario. Now, uh, one thing here is you could just do two, but I'm gonna show you a quick way that you can actually make this a little bit better. Uh, so we're going to do a count unique in here instead. And what we're going to do is we're going to do E2. So actually dollar sign E2, dollar sign E, and then dollar sign E. And what this is going to do is it's going to automatically adjust it according to how many people there are here. So let's say Larry joined the party, right? And then Larry for like some, some really pay for some stuff. And that stuff turned out to be like $500. And so if you copy down these formulas, if you copy down these formulas, it's going to show how much Larry paid and then how much he's supposed to be shelling out. So if we add it in another item for Larry here, we'll see here that he paid a thousand, which is more than the uh, amount of the total halved. He is owed $121, where Stewart is owed $361, and Chris needs to pay out a lot of money just to make things right with these people. Of course, you can format this as dollar signs if you would like, really up to you. But essentially, this is how you would create a quick way uh, to determine price or cost allocation uh, within a Google Sheet. It's really simple. Some ifs statement you can do this for a lot of different things some if works for everything not just currency you can do it for summing up items uh, inventory items or just items in general whatever you might want to do it's really easy to use it um, but of course if you did have any issues with this feel free to you know, drop a comment in the section below uh, we're here to help so don't be shy this is uh, community support so you know we're here to help you uh, so make sure to drop a comment in the section below, or if you do have anything that you're looking for help on, you know, just reach out to us. You can reach us uh, through the comments or through feedback at bootstrapping.tools. 
course, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. It's the best way to support this channel and help us continue to make great content for you as well as other people just like you. And it also helps make sure that our videos are showing up in the search results for people who are looking to learn how to up their game uh, in business using low code and no code tools. Now we have a lot of videos coming out, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell so that you get notified when we release the next video and don't miss out on that. But I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools Community Support. It's been a pleasure and we're